a very very warm hello to all the listeners and all the students listening to me today now today i want to point out to you a very very important aspect of your preparation especially looking at the month that we are in now we are in the later half of the year where you are appearing for the exam this year like many of you listening to me today will be appearing for neat 2020 so when you are preparing for such an exam it is mandatory i'm saying mandatory i'm not saying maybe i'm saying it is must do that you practice a full course paper from here onwards if you were not doing it so far it is high time that you start giving your grand tests now what exactly do i mean by a grand test now in dams we conduct every third week a grand test on your mobile app on your computer which is based on the neat pg pattern which has 300 questions of different subjects jumbled up now reason this is so important to give is i want you to understand it and i will today tell you the technique of how to give the test and how to make it make the maximum utility out of the test so let's listen to me now now this is how you read a book so you must be you know aware of this whenever we read a book it is not just our eyes which are using we which are using we are also using our finger or you know many times in a medical college or in your library you might have seen we also use something like this we use a marker so you know we don't miss out on words because of two things because we are reading it with our eyes along with it we are also reading with with our finger or we are reading with our fluorescent marker now this all changes when you are giving the exam in the real life in the real life when you give the exam you're giving it on a computer screen so when you're giving the exam on a computer screen now you're facing the computer you, there's no hand to it there's no pen to it it is only eyes now what happens is when you're giving the exam what happens is you tend to miss words or you tend to misunderstand the meaning of the question I've seen this happen to many students in the past and I've seen them suffer in their ranks just because they could not read the paper properly because their hand was tied behind. Now, today I will add a line here. This is what I've learned by, you know, being a mentor for your students for the last two decades, talking about competitive exams, talking about MCQ exams. I, I want you to understand what I'm saying. Now, this is how a DAMS grand test interface would look like. So in the DAMS grand test, you will see these three parts, part A, part B, part C, just like you see in the real NEAT exam. Real NEAT exam is divided into three parts. Similarly, our grand test is divided into three parts. Part A is the first prof, part B is the second prof plus PSM, part C is the clinical science. So this is how you select your parts, just like you do them in the real exam. But let me come to the real thing. Now when you see the question, you will now notice in front of you the question and I have put a bar in front of you hiding the choices. This is the first rule of the thumb. Whenever you are looking at a textual question, look at the question, try to get the answer in your mind before you see the choices. This is different from a image based question. Remember I talked about this in a previous video. You know that when you are looking at a visual question, you look at the choices first, then you look at a visual. In a text question, you look at the question, then let the answer come to you, then you look at the choices. That fraction of a second helps you to prevent those silly mistakes. Now coming to the point. Now suppose this is the question that you're looking at. Now I don't have my hand to help me. I have to read it. So I want you to do it by also speaking up what you're reading. On the side, keep translating the words into your mother tongue so that you don't misunderstand anything. See now, see how I'm reading now. A patient is unable to prevent anterior displacement. Aage ki taraf displace hone ko rok rahe of the femur on the tibet. So tibia aage ki taraf displace hone se rok rahe jab knee flexed hai. When the knee is flexed. And which of the following ligaments is most likely to? Kaun sa ligament sab se zada commonly damage ho rahe. Which of the following is so? If you notice now, you can do it in your own language. I'm doing it in my own language just to give you an idea. This is how my mind is reading it. So what I'm doing is because I cannot use my finger here, I cannot use the pen here, I am speaking it on the side softly so that I don't disturb others. But on the side, I'm also, tell me, I'm also converting it into my own mother tongue so that there is no misunderstanding, there's no gap in the language which is causing a, costing me our exam question. Once I've done this, I look at the choices. 
now when i see the choices i am already committed to the answer i am already committed to the answer so i mark the answer based on what i was thinking rather than getting confused after looking at the choices that is the basic rule of the thumb when you give a text based question on the other hand if this was a question identify these structures on a image first i look at the choices then i look at the image because on that image i'm not trying to solve everything i'm only trying to rule out which of the following okay so that is the ball game but do not forget that when you are reading in a computer based test it is slightly different from what you do on mobile phones also so that is why i always believe that dams grand test is available on your website as well as if you go to the dams delhi website and you can just give, give it on a computer also just to feel as if you feel on a real exam you're sitting on a desk slightly away from the screen you can't touch it all you need to do is speak each word aloud keep translating it if you do this you will be able to read the question in one go understand in one go without missing out on any keyword like except anything of that sort now once you have done the entire paper like this you need to know there will be questions which you know by your memory so you reach when if it is a memory based question you directly reach to the answer or there will be questions where you will be thinking and applying the concepts that you have learned in the classroom then rule out rule out rule out reach to the answer by ruling out so these are the kind of things that you are doing in the exam i want you to do them with every test so that you become used to ruling out before you reach the exam that is why when we do our dams grand test we do it at a good level and that level will be at a slightly you know uh, you know stuffer level there will be some questions there will you find them um, to be tough which will be requiring analytic so that is the difference between a dams test and others because we put some analytical questions also because we want people to think once you learn to think you start winning so that is the key second thing to remember is second thing to remember is do not be bogged down by a question that you don't know even if you don't know the question when you read it when you try to understand it you 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 know you may not be knowing it but maybe you know about this choice maybe you know about it. so you try to rule out you do every question in a grand test as if life depends on it and you know as if you know this is my career i have to do it you have to take the grand test so seriously so seriously that you become habitual of these tests so by the time you reach the real exam it feels just like a grand test and you're so relaxed so i i'm sure you might have seen this line being report repeated by many toppers many rankers in the last two decades on the dams channel on youtube have said the same thing please give the grand test as if you're giving a real exam let you know so that your adrenals they all get used to pumping that adrenaline and you know you know so by the time you reach the real exam you're so used to it that you don't feel it is out of routine and you are relaxed and that is the key on the exam the second thing is that when you are doing a monthly grand test it gives you an opportunity to touch all subjects so when you touch all subjects in one go then you go to the solution in the solution you will find those video reports these are the reports where teachers have discussed the question papers each question with you in a video format and you know that you know these are trusted dams teachers who are you know creating those answer video for you now you know by now that when you listen to a test video after submitting the test you are able to do better because you get to know how the teacher is thinking how the teachers are thinking on this question so these small mini you know each gt that you gives with us is in itself a course and so anybody who is doing those 12 gts is becomes improves it is just like climbing the ladder it's just like climbing the ladder one by one and you reach to the point there where you want to reach my suggestion is these are my three suggestions okay and it is very very important that when you reach august you need to be doing grand test number 1 you need to be doing a full course test the question banks the random thousands of questions would not help you to the level what a exam simulator would help you the number 1 second is you need to think hard on each question in the exam so that your mind learns how to think in the exam you look at the question without looking at the choices try to bring the answer in your mind so that you don't you know do mistakes on recall questions textual questions you uh, do this formula in the visual questions you look at the choices then you try to look out the visuals 
listen to all videos after the paper i'm saying all don't pick and choose because when you pick and choose children tend to you know go for this favorite subjects rather than to go for the subjects that you don't like so i want you to do all of them spend the day analyzing learn how to think like a teacher how teachers are thinking on that question you will see step by step you will see tiny improvements happening in you each one of us wants to reach to the top but we don't we forget that to go to the top there's no lift available it is a staircase in that staircase you take tiny steps every day every week and that gt is a critical component of those steps i want you to utilize it to the maximum possible and i want you to use them to practice to be so sure of your exam skill that by the time you reach the exam you are already mastered it you feel relaxed and you are able to do better i wish you all all the best i am sure you will rock in the neat exam